Okay, unhooked, unhinged, unbuckled. You need your buckle, man. Say I'm unbuckled. Okay, that's not how you put it on. It's like I've been wanting to go for two Guess days. Guess what? Okay, I'm getting a missing. <laughs> I'm getting a missing. You will not trust me, do you? Are we ready, Al? Abby, you ready? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we going to go? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Our camping adventure is over. That does not mean the adventure is over because if, if I know anything being a moss, something will happen. Oh my gosh, something's gonna happen. I can feel it. Oh boy. Dad, Dad, I want a different RV. I don't know, room. yesterday was kind of like over the top. Maybe it's capped out for the weekend. <laughs> I need a new RV crew to roll with. Oh, uh, yesterday face planted in the mud. Isaiah almost broke his tailbone. We have 5,000 pounds of soaking wet clothing in the back. My the vehicle still, may handle differently. We have so much wet clothing in the back. My eye still hurts from all the mud that was in it. Yeah. The rain just will not stop here. It's never ending. It's like Washington. It's been two full days, right? Yeah, two and a half days. Yeah. Stops for maybe an hour or so. We got one okay. fire in this trip. One fire. Yeah, we've got two uh, bundles of wood out there I'll for the next lucky it. person that comes through. If it does, And they if wait it a week raining. for the for the wood to dry out. <laughs> Okay, road trip. Here we go. Woo! Consistent service. People aren't as excited Duncan, about the road trip Duncan, on the way home. Duncan, yeah, Duncan. Duncan. You want some Duncan? Do you want to go to get? Abby, you want to get a donut? You want a donut? <laughs> And then push your way up. Come you can on. do it. Bunk beds are in the future. <gasps> Here, try again. You ready? We'll start again. Okay. Ready? Okay, put one foot up. She used to be such a climber. I know. We tried this with somebody up there, but that didn't work either. Are yeah. right, you ready? Go ahead. Pull yourself up. There you go. Good job. One foot up here. Put your foot here. Do it, Ab. Good job. Now step up here. Come on. Pull. Do up. it. Up. You're okay. Dad's right there, sweetheart. I got you. I want you to do it on your own. I could throw you up there, but I want you to do it. Come here. Start over. Come on, start over. You ready? Ready? Put your foot up here. There you go. Other foot up here. Good job. Now get up there. And then stand up. Put your other foot up here. Put your other, your other one. 
Put this foot here. Put this foot up here. This foot <laughs> up here. Ready? One, two, three, go. Go up. No, leave that one up here. Like that. Ready? Lift. <sighs> Come on up. Come on. Go get ahead. You, get your bag. Oh, she's trying. There you go. Good job. Look. Go get that bag. Can you get that bag? <laughs> no, that bag. Here. Oh, darn it. She can reach it. Okay, look. Look at Look. Get that blanket back there. Can you get it? Put your foot up here. There you go. Get that blanket. Go, go get, get it. it. Go get it. <gasps> you got it up. You got it. <laughs> Good job. You're so tall. Okay, you ready? Put your You're foot cheating. Up. Put your foot up here. Are right, you ready? Jump up there. Go up there. Go get. Jump up. Go up there. You got up it, Abby. Come on. Push. Ready? Push. Push. Come on up. Ready? You're okay. Push. Oh, you got it. Oh. You're so close. Here, come here. Come here, watch. Come here. I'll show you. Watch that. You see right here? Watch that. You ready? Ready? ready Dad's going to show you. Here we go. You watching? We go like this. We go like this. Yeah. And then we jump up here like this. Look how comfortable. <gasps> Look at that. Yeah, yeah, you do it. What do you mean, come here? You go up there. No, no, not in the driver's seat, ma'am. Oh, she got in the seat. Here, come here. Yeah, come here. Come on. Come on up here. Come on. Okay. Surprise your brother in summer. Come on. Put your foot up here. Good job. Stand up. Watch your head. Watch your head. There you go. All right, put your other foot up here. Go. There you go. Do it. You got it. You got it. Go ahead. Come on, you got it. Do it, Abby. Go ahead. Come on. Jump up there. foot up there both feet okay that one okay go ahead cool go ahead go ahead on up no do it up up there you i'm gonna give you your no, donut up there no put your foot up here go put ahead foot up here. <laughs> it's funny though because abby does not care about bribes look she's not like a bribe kid all the way back there go get my hat <laughs> go get my hat get my hat she's like why you throw it <laughs> Stand up. You ready? You ready? You're so close. Put Dad. your foot up there. We tried to get her to get stuff from back there, but she's so tall she, she can, can reach, reach it all. Everything. All right, put your other foot up. Good job. Good job. Go back there and get that hat. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> you go get it. I can't reach it. Ready? Stand up. Go. Climb. <gasps> Like, no, I'm done. Okay. Look okay. at you. I'm so proud of you. Give me a hug. You're so Aww, cool. You did it. <laughs> oh, that smile. So if we want to keep her in the bed in, fu in the future, we no, just put her up in the No, we're going to sit back here and eat your donut. <laughs> Good job, Ab. Good job. <laughs> so proud of you. That was so cool. Look at you overcoming your fears right before we get to the house. Right? Say donut time. Aww. Donut time. This is where our trip started. It was, it was right here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we started our favorite lady it was not there today. For our, for our RV trip. Oh. My coffee's right. <laughs> so oh, we gotta go home. We're just a couple miles from the house. We gotta go home and clean out the RV and get everybody settled in and we turn it back in tomorrow. So yep. all in all, I, I would say it's a good experience. You know, we had a few hiccups yeah. with uh with the RV itself, just like the sewage hose, like some of the lights didn't work. Things like that, but all stuff that we were able to overcome, no, re no real big deals, right. you know. So, yeah, would I recommend it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, no and issues. I have to say the customer service side. So if you tag RV America, RV America, 
Cruise America. Is it? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. On Instagram, they're amazing with their customer service. Oh, yeah. So they're on it. So if you have issues, if you're going to do this, they have them everywhere. Yep. Um, definitely tag them. Oh, look at that tree over there. She's film. celebrating all the men back there. I'm a tree film. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put everybody on the spot. Okay? Best and worst thing about our RV camping. Okay, best part of the RVing trip would be time spent with the family. And I know it sounds crazy because we've been in COVID and we've been together since March. But it was just different. So I would say that was the best part. The worst part would be the sleeping. Like the lack of sleep for me. I'm a light sleeper so it's super hard. Ace is not. <laughs> so it doesn't affect him as much. But that would be my hardest part. Okay. Wow, this is, I feel legit. Okay, my favorite part was hiking because even though it was stressful, we all worked together. It was cool to see all of us just like in a unit. And then the worst part are bugs. I freaking hate bugs. I can't, I can't even do them. A ladybug flew on me and I almost lost my mind. So, bugs worst, best hiking. Uh, I think the best part was like going and having this place to come back to and like having like, you know, we were all kind of scrunched in here, but we all had our little spaces and stuff. So it was nice to be able to get out of like the outdoors and still enjoy a little bit of comfort while camping, you know, and, and we love the mountains. So that was part of it, you know, but you still want to have kind of, kind of some idea of home. And then, um, the worst part, this is also the best part, but the worst part was also the hiking because <laughs> that, that hurt. I'm not going to lie a, a lot. I got mud in my eye and it was, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die on this mountain. I'm gonna, I felt like Revenant or something up there. Like I was into the wild. All the movies were where people die on mountains. Okay. So yeah, but it was also the best because that was just awesome to do that. But yeah. Uh, best part and worst part combined for me was like adversaries, adversities that we come, come across, you know, like the hike. It poured down rain, but the way our family is, like, you know, we come together and we make what would have normally been miserable into a whole lot of fun because that's just a regular old hike. Like, it wasn't even that hard of a hike. It wasn't that crazy of a hike. The, the view wasn't even that spectacular, but that's something we will never forget. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, can I, can I Be change because, what I said? Because we did that. You know what I mean? Yeah. The worst part was the view of the hike. <laughs> What's up with that? We hiked that far. In the pouring rain, and we saw we didn't even see the whole waterfall. It's just like a little Somebody section of it. Somebody shared a waterfall picture with me today that they will hike to. I was like, wow, that was worth it. Ours? <laughs> ah, I'm not gonna say it was worth yeah. it. Abby, what was your favorite part of the trip? Mm. Hey, was your pa favorite part of the trip food? Eating? Was that your favorite part? I Ab think it was. Hey, Abby, was eating your favorite mm. part? Yeah. Abby. What about what about sleeping? Was bed your favorite part? <laughs> you lie. I have, I have a question. She's like it was because I was in bed with y'all. Was riding in the passenger seat listening to music your favorite? Yeah. yeah. I you seem to like that have, a lot. I didn't have a part that I she just did like that part a lot. <laughs> Abby, did you like um, did you like hiking? You did. You did. Yeah, you was seemed there, to. Abby, was there anything that you didn't? Hey, kiddo. Look at that. Look at me. Was there anything you didn't like? There was. What was it? Um, what didn't you like? Did you like the bugs? She said, what? Say cookies. <gasps> the um, sitting still, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Thing. Not moving. Sitting and not going, moment. I think, was Abby's <laughs> least favorite part. Yeah. That's mine. You know, my dad brought up a good point, though. Like for her, it's okay. You drive. Like, why are you not driving? Right. It, it, I mean, you have all the things you need to drive. Why that was are you the not hard doing part that? for her, and it, it was always at the transition of activity. So, like, like we would finish dinner, and she would jump in in the passenger seat, like, "Okay, we're going," right? And then a little chaos going on back there. Yes. Yeah, um, you know, or or like we would wake up in the morning, like, "Okay, let's drive." You know, it was always at the transitions. Yeah. She doesn't understand that yet, but I think, but that's not a permanent thing either. Right. So. Oh, you're definitely not getting coffee, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, I think if, if y'all did this more, if we did trips with her more, especially in an RV, she would be like, okay, yeah, now I get it. But you are not, you can't expect her to know that on the first go. Right. So, question is, after this experience, 
do we still plan on getting an RV in the future? You know, so Abigail has the opportunity to, and if you don't know, like the whole reason we did this trip was kind of not just as a va you know vacation for Father's Day type of thing, but also as like a test run for an RV because one of our thoughts was to travel via RV. So Abigail has a place that's familiar and safe to come back to when, when we go and experience things. And the reason why we want her to experience things is because uh, adults with special needs often have a very small world. And we want Abigail's world to be big because she doesn't have the opportunity to decide that for herself. Like, hey, I wanna travel or I wanna see things. Um, we don't want her to be limited because of that. So that's the whole reason that this idea came to fruition. Um, so are we, after this trip, still planning on RVing? Really? What do you think? I would say yes. I don't want it to be like a full-time thing because yeah. we had talked, we had, you know, talked about that as well. Right. Um, I would like to do it, you know, a month at a time. I would be good with that. Yep. So look for the, the Moss National Tour in uh, the year 20 something I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know yeah i don't know but yes i think it's it something we still plan. we had a great time we did there are some things that we would adjust and yeah but we had we had a great time yep. yeah so also look forward to that video of tips and tricks for traveling like this uh with a special needs child um or just in general so coming up that's it for us guys All right, thanks guys. for joining us on our rv trip Bye. <laughs> bye. I was watching Summer do her dance moves. Hey, it's been a while, man. Close it out for us, will you? Say bye. Lucas. Now close it out. I said, I said adversaries. Yeah, you did. Nobody corrected me on that. I was like, I'll tell him after. Nobody corrected me on that. I was thinking. I was you thinking could cut adversaries. It out. Do you want to cut out and just put, just like, like adversities? A just adversities. Adversities. <laughs> Wait, let me let me do that. Adversities. Oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> Thanks for the help. No problem. No problem.